Uh, I'm David Kohlbrenner. I'm a fifth year PhD student here at UC San Diego, working with Hovav Shakam. My interests have been in systems and security, and more specifically in the interplay between hardware and uh, software security, and how hardware design can uh, cause the existence of software vulnerabilities at a high level. So previously, we have published work uh, kind of in the attack space, where we show that web browsers are uh, vulnerable to different types of timing attacks that are enabled by architectural details in the processor. And these attacks allow an attacking web page to view pixel data of a victim web page. So you, the user, go to this attacking web page, it runs code on you, and then that code uh, is able to view data from some web page that you're logged into. And one thing that we realized while we worked on these attacks was that a timing attack requires a very accurate clock. This clock needs to be able to measure often nanosecond or smaller resolutions of time. So we looked at adapting uh, a series of defensive work out of the early 90s in the secure operating systems community called fuzzy times. And the core insight of this defense is that we're going to make all clocks that the attacker can look at a little bit inaccurate. So think of a clock that has only a minute hand. This is the clock we're going to show to the attacker. Now, currently, browsers attempt to defend against timing attacks by only updating that minute hand on the minute. And we were able to show that there are some, some clever techniques uh, that make this kind of an insufficient defense. But instead, what we do is, I, as I said, we adapt this fuzzy time model. And in this model, you, as the defender, have a watch that is second accurate. And you look at this, and rather than update at 0, 0, you update the clock somewhere between 0, 0 and, say, 30 seconds. And the amount of time that you have in there is kind of the fuzziness that you have on the clock. And this means that for the attacker, minutes can last anywhere from, say, 45 seconds to a minute and 15 seconds. And they're unable to determine the exact duration of events. So this gets us a, a kind of wonderful set of defensive properties in that the attacker can't precisely measure time, but at the same time, the clock always moves forward. The clock is only a little bit late. It's bounded how late it is. It's never early. And so it's still useful as a clock. So to kind of sum up all this attack and defense work, uh, we're going to continue working on developing new types of both timing techniques and attack techniques in this space. And we've also been working with Mozilla pretty closely on both building prototypes for this, uh, the defensive schemes that we've outlined and for trying to integrate some of these defensive uh, aspects into the mainline Firefox browser. And it's our hope that going forward, uh, specific portions of the fuzzy time defensive scheme will be integrated into more than just Firefox, but at least hopefully Firefox soon.